I, I'd start by saying it, you know, it is definitely something we focused on. I mean, you know, we have three network operations centers, you know, specialized, you know, in different parts of, of managed services. And, and so, um, you know, with that and, and seeing customers, how they're, how the volume of, you know, room rollouts and experiential kind of uh, work is going on in the world. I mean, these customers, in our opinion, the ones we're dealing with, don't necessarily, you know, it's not their core business, right? So they're looking to kind of say, hey, we need to stick to our core business, work with a company that could make us more efficient, manage the, the assets that we have. And so that's where I think, you know, we're in, we're in a good spot as, as a global, you know, global integrator for, for customers today. I, yeah. I think it's sheer numbers, right? So if you look at the profile of a typical enterprise customer, uh, folks on the Fortune 1000s, uh, they typically will have a thousand plus conference rooms in their enterprise. And that, that's of a sufficient scale that just kind of overwhelms an IT help desk. So they have to augment that with uh, someone like Diversified, who's got large enough of a geographic footprint to be able to do truck rolls, uh, who's sophisticated enough to be able to do remote monitoring and management, and is forward looking enough to be able to contemplate some of the things that they're looking for from a, a data analytics perspective. Yeah. And this really plays into a strategy for us too, why we think it's so important that when you talk about future economic uh, ups and downs as we go forward you know the more managed service contracts you have on 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 multi-year contracts it, it gives us stability